Hello, Facebook. I'm Bill Cody from 6.50 a.m. WSM's Coffee Country and Cody and the world-famous Grand Ole Opry. Joined today by Opry star Blake Shelton. How you doing, buddy? And our chair and CEO, Colin Reed. Good to see you, man. And we're in a very special place, Lower Broadway in downtown Nashville, Old Red Nashville. And Blake Shelton, you have just done a walkthrough and yeah. seen it for the first time this far along at, at yeah. any rate. The first time I saw this this place, it was literally, it was offices it was up, office up here, right? yeah. And, uh, and actually, Gwen and I came through with Colin and, and the team, and, and was trying, we were trying to visualize what we're seeing today, you know, but back then it's hard to kind of wrap your head around it, and especially the rooftop, because we went up there, we were laughing, because one of Gwen's heels went, actually went <laughs> through the, the, the tar or whatever they had up there, and, and now it's, just, it's so beautiful, and the, especially, I mean, obviously everybody's favorite spot is going to be uh, that, that rooftop up there, but which is it, enclosed, and yet there's an outer yeah, area that people so cool. can look out over the city. It's literally unbelievable, and and all these buildings down here, you're actually this is so much taller than anything else. You're looking down at the other rooftops, you know. So uh, this is unbelievable. But I, I guess at the end of the day, most of the time will be spent right here where we're sitting. I mean, there's the stage down there. There's the there's the uh, tractor, and and it's just going to be already. I'm thinking of all the different things that I want to do here, and. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to run it by you. I guess no, that's first, great. We, I mean, it's just awesome. get complicated. Uh, I know. I know. It's okay. like I want to play every <laughs> night down here. So. One of the things you said when you looked out over the skyline was, "Boy, this is not the Nashville that I, I saw when I pulled into <laughs> town not, from Oklahoma when I got out of high school." Huh? Unbelievable. I mean, this this the Broadway area in general. I mean, when I moved to Nashville, you, you didn't really come down here that much. You know, it kind of kind of been neglected and, and uh, wasn't the, the best part of town and, and now uh, it's the centerpiece of Nashville uh, again like it should like it should be you know uh -huh. uh, there's just so much music and so much fun going down here going on down here every day of the week you know I mean it's uh, the, the amount of traffic that's here what are, this is Wednesday right and and this looks like this could be the first day of CMA fest out there there's so many <laughs> yeah, people right. they're everywhere that's a good know, description and, and yeah. Uh, and it's exciting to to now be a part of it. Besides just you know coming down here and having fun, to actually to be a part of it. And so thanks to uh, this guy, and, and it's just been uh, this is unbelievable. It's a dream come true. As I look out, there's sunshine everywhere. We didn't have sunshine until Blake Shelton oh, with his Thank spiritual magical mm -hmm. powers arrived yeah. earlier today. Uh, I don't have the. I can't make it warm, but I can bring the sun <laughs> okay. anywhere I go. Yeah. Which is pretty. Powerful. First full day of spring. What people want to know is, when do you open for business? I think I think we can uh, we can have this this building open about the uh, first week of May, first week of May. Wow! Yeah, that's in just a minute. I know. We're on TV right now. You should be saying the right words. Yeah. I didn't say which year. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we should have uh, we should have this open by the end of the first week of. Uh, we sh we're scheduling for the f end of the first week of May, wow. and then we're going to be putting out a tickler when we're going to be doing a grand opening when mm -hmm. you're back in town two-day, three-day, you know, event, and that's going to be really, really fun. And there's hiring being done as we speak. I mean, that is... It is. We've, things, uh, right? uh, we've already recruited... We're, we're going to... When we're all said and done here, we'll have about 200 people employed in this building, um, and uh, both full-time, part-time uh, individuals. Uh, and uh, we're about 150 recruited right now. We, we've got a recruiting office just down the street here, and uh, it's been going really well. I, I think, truly, we're, because of the quality of the building and the relationship we have with this awesome uh, individual, I think we're going to get the pick of the litter in this town, and we certainly are recruiting really, really well. As I was walking in today, there were, there were a couple of girls here who are obviously tourists, and one of them looked up, and they were reading that you were hiring. And they go, hey, they're hiring. Like, yeah. they would, with total disregard, forget about what was going on back home and move here yeah. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it has that sort of effect on people when they walk by. Yeah, you know uh, when you when you were, when you were talking uh, to Blake about and Blake was talking about the roof. One of the things that I think uh, differentiates this building from other buildings on Broadway is the the way um, these windows were were built in this particular building because we have windows all around uh, both on the ground floor and on this mezzanine floor and you're literally connected to Broadway it's uh, yeah, I think it's got beautiful feel and it, it's, what's the history of the building for people who don't know it was built back in um, late 20s early 30s it was a bank building and uh, what we decided to do uh, was essentially take every floor out of this old office building and re put new floors in uh, so we could get different ceiling heights and uh, uh, and you know the, the building is almost a hundred years old and uh, 
but from outside we we're just revering it and some parts of the inside where we've kept uh, you know some of the old beautiful brick walls but it, it is a beautiful building a beautiful building. there's a bank right yeah it yeah. was yeah what specifically excites you the most walking through today and, and it's been a while since you've been here to see well I, you know I've I've been in Nashville about 16 years now with this company and I, as Blake was talking about from when he's turned up in Nashville as a young mullet head <laughs> <laughs> I remember about 12 13 years ago like that but this place this place Nashville downtown Nashville I think over the last eight years evolved so much um, and literally there are last year almost 14 and a half million people that came visit visited Nashville and I we wanted to do something and his vision and our vision as a company is absolutely aligned here we wanted to do something very very special and whichever floor you're on as you go through this building it gets progressively ritzier as it gets to the roof uh, because we're seeing so many people from overseas coming to Nashville to spend you know long periods of time here people from all across this country and I, I what I'm excited about is is offering a quality program to to these consumers the the music that we'll be putting on here will be so much different in the sense that you know our company with the legacy of the Ryman and the Opry we've got a farm system here so with you know Blake's contacts through the voice we, we can bring quality you know artists all the way through this building and uh, I, I I'm really excited about how that is going to resonate with these 14 and a half million visitors well the stage the stage in this building I guarantee you can go up and down Broadway and and people, you know, other businesses, they have to make it work for their building. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had so much space here. We have by far the biggest stage. It's got to be up and down Broadway, and and, and that's to their credit for, for for doing that because that takes up you know a lot of floor space and, and possible you know tables and stuff. But uh, we did want it to be about the music and and to not have any restraints and 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 be able if somebody has a eight piece band that they want to bring in here, they can easily fit them on that stage, mm -hmm. you know, that was important. So uh, yeah, we, gotta, we, we, yeah. wanted, we wanted to make this place versatile. So look, what goes on in Broadway is fabulous. That's why all these people come here. And uh, But what we wanted to do was something a little different. And uh, that's what we're trying to do here in terms of in terms of the entertainment experience you'll see and the quality of the finish you'll see. With two months to May when you referenced mm -hmm. opening here, you have more exciting news. And I don't know which one of you is ready to share that. I'm sharing it right now. The people may not have <coughs> been able to see it. Can you come in tight on that? Because they I'm may not be able to see that right below Old Red. What does it say? It says Gatlinburg. See that? Gatlinburg. A little fun, <laughs> awesome, incredibly beautiful community up in uh, uh, eastern Tennessee. And uh, it's going to be our third, third Old one. Red location. We are. Uh, we should have been there this morning. Uh, we had do, planned to be there to, this I know, morning. To do this announcement. <laughs> people Blake, who may be watching Blake, this in the mountains know exactly yeah. why we're not there, right? Blake was flying in from New York after he did the uh, show there yesterday morning, the um, Hoda uh, mm -hmm. show yesterday morning. And we were going to be flying up early this morning, but unfortunately, Mother Nature got in the way. But what we want to do is um, we wanted to announce that we're going to do this beautiful building um, in on Parkway as you come into Gatlinburg. Uh, from Pigeon Forge right in front of the new uh, Margaritaville Hotel that's being built. Uh, we're going to build a, uh, a facility there that uh, we think is going to be quite stunning and quite appealing to the consumer that visits, visits uh, Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge and the Smoky Mountains National Park, which is one of the most visited places on, on the planet. So we're very excited about it. And I know people watching are thinking, okay, Tishomingo, Oklahoma, Nashville, Tennessee, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stop here. Are there are there future plans? I hope so. I mean, it, look, it's. I think uh, what I've figured out working with with uh, with the Ryman is is it, it's. I don't know that they sit here and target certain areas. I think these places become obvious at some point, you know. And, and, and I don't know if the, if any of that's on on uh, camera or not. But when you see the location and you learn where it is, and it's and it's a possibility, and it's a. Uh, you know Gatlinburg. I mean, it's a, it's definitely a, a, a fun party town, but it's kind of got a, a, obviously a country atmosphere. And, and next thing you know, this is a this is a no-brainer. Like, With the oh, national oh park, I maybe the most visited national park in yeah. all of America. And there's another country singer I think that has a place in that area. I can't think of her name. Oh, Dolly Parton. That's right. That, <laughs> in that area. So uh, it's you know when it's you just, go up there, you get dibs. <laughs> 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 it's it's uh it's exciting. I mean, this is this is one that I think, uh, and I don't know, you know, 
I wish we could have gone there today, but I think this is going to bring a, a more of a, a late night, hopefully late night party, fun type atmosphere to, to Gatlinburg. And I've been up there a few times and and. Uh, and after the is, fires, what a, what a wonderful thing to be able to announce yeah, to the colony. I was, I was up there in October last year, and that's, you know, and, then, and I was blown away by how that place has recovered from the devastation that it saw earlier. Um, and, uh, uh, and I talked to Blake about it, and I said, hey, buddy, what do you think about Gallenberg? He said, man, I, I mean, this is no, you know, this is not, I'm not fabricating. This is exactly how it went down. I said, I, I was shocked by the amount of, you know, people that were milling around Gatlinburg having a lot of fun. What do you think about it? And he said, I really think it's great. And then we spoke to, uh, you know, Blake's management team, and we, we were able to overlay where he sells records, the consumer group that goes to this area. And, I mean, it's a perfect fit for us, I think. And feasibility studies, obviously, are something you do before you choose these locations. Absolutely. Tisha Mingo was a home right. for Blake in his hometown. Yeah. And, and you obviously <laughs> thought about what you were, you were doing and uh, looking at Gatlinburg. I mean, you just didn't decide. You no, 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 it didn't work that way. I said, what do you think about this place? And he goes, God, I think this is fantastic. Let's do it. He said, hey, buddy. He said, let's do Tishomingo, too. I said, where the hell's that? <laughs> <laughs> and you said, it's on the map now. <laughs> Not too far it from really Ada. Is. That's right. It, it really is. It now really they have, because Old Red, they actually put print Tishomingo on maps. Yeah. yeah. Do they, they know? Yeah. They put it on they the map. Really, <laughs> it really is surprising how how people are finding that place. It yeah. really is surprising. It's been yeah. incredible for that yeah, community. Really. Too. How often do you pop in in uh, I've, I've performed there three times already, uh, which, you know, that doesn't sound like a lot, but for me, to, I barely perform three times in a year as it is. <laughs> so uh, it's been fun, and I've popped in there a bunch. You know, I've been able to, uh, you know, introduce some of the contestants from the voice uh, Lauren Dusky played. I had the Swan Brothers and, and uh, trying to get uh, Red Marlowe booked in there right now. And, and uh, that, that's never going to end, you know, because uh, we need those kids and, and those kids need a place to, to go and continue to work on their craft and, and, and to be able to have a place to offer them and, and know that there's an audience out there that's excited to see them. They've been watching them on TV sure. you know, for three yeah. months and they've been, you know, hoping that they would pass through the area and, and so it just makes sense for me to put them in, in, in my venue and, and hopefully once we get this up and running it can even be more of that because a lot of those contestants that end up on my team, they're, they're in Nashville anyway, you know, and so we can have a home for them here, you know, a place for them to play and, and you know, make a little money and just more importantly, just work on their craft, you yeah. know, in front of an audience. The, uh, the good news about, there's good news about him popping into Tishomingo the way he does, you know, to play and stuff like that. But the bad news is I get texts, hey, the chicken's not hot enough, you know, <laughs> spicy chicken. You know, hey, can we get this on the menu? And it's like, oh my God, yeah. we've unleashed a food prep is not on his radar either. So what is like, the, well, I'll tell somebody, I don't know who to tell, I'll tell them. What, what's the number one thing on the menu here that you want to recommend? Is Man, you, I want that white cheese dip. You know what I'm talking about, yeah. like the white queso? Yeah, like it was in Mexican queso. Yes, yeah. I want that here. For God's sake, I'm not asking for much. Oh, we got it, we got okay. it, but on the, on the top floor, we've got a whole sushi bar for you. See, I'm, see, I'm eating down here. <laughs> Let me guess, there's not here. a sushi bar in Tisha Huh? How close no, am I? No, there's not. There's there is, place, ladies, there is sure ladies out of town. <laughs> I have seen dead fish in bars uh, in the Tisha area. But, so, yeah. two months before we open Old Red Nashville, where you're joining us on Facebook Live, and what about Gatlinburg, Colin? We hope to have it done uh, in the uh, early uh, middle of the first quarter of next year, sort of in the February, March time uh, of next year. Um, we've got some really good plans. You've, you've seen the copy of the building. Um, it, it's going to be pretty much like this, where we're going to have a mezzanine area and a main area. Um, it won't uh, have a roof. Um, I mean, it'll have a roof, but it won't have a roof bar. Uh, but um, we hope to blow and go on this and get it done by early part of next year. With Colin Reed and Blake Shelton, I'm Bill Cody. So we're not open here yet. Gatlinburg just announced today. Mm -hmm. Bringing my skis. How long would it take if Colin drove for us to get to Tishmingo? We could be there by what? Tomorrow morning. If you drove? Uh, yeah. What about if we got on your beautiful new airplane? Okay. Well, <laughs> we don't really have anybody qualified to, to fly it yet. But we can try. <laughs> I'll try it. It's got two seats in the, in the front there. We're coming soon to an old red near you. Maybe Tisha Mingo before nightfall. I'm Bill Cody with Colin Reed and Blake Shelton from Thank Old buddy. Red in downtown Thank you, Nashville. Thank you.